Have you ever felt? Are you listening? Damn. Okay, we have a, a pretty killer, a little hairs ear variation here. Um, as we started working with Fulling Mill, we realized that a lot of the nymphs that, that they tie over in Europe are really, really basic. And a lot of them just use natural hairs ear for the dubbing and then, you know, kind of a mixture of some, some different colors. So we're going to kind of put a variation on, on some of those. This is a Fulling Mill jig hook in size 14. This is a 3.3 mil slotted tungsten bead. And uh, I'm going to start out just by dressing it. I've got Uni uh, A dot in camel for my thread. Now I'm just going to take a section of this uh, Uni 3 aught thread. It's very similar to the, the Uni stretch type fibers that you can get. But I'm going to basically fold it over twice so there are, you know, basically four fibers coming out of the back of the, the hook. And I'll trim one end, and that's the end that I'm going to tie in. Tie it about to there. And then I'm going to trim this off about half the length of the body. And that's going to be our, our yellow tag. Maybe I'll wrap that a little bit further back. So to keep that yellow theme as well, I'm just going to take some more of this Uni 3-op and I'm going to use that as a rib for this fly. So hopefully you'll get a sense for how, how quick of a tie this fly is. The body's just going to be Nature Spirit Snowshoe Rabbit. I'm just going to wrap up kind of a tapered body, nice and buggy. So about right to there. And then I'm going to take this uni and I'm going to twist it up with my fingers and I'm just going to make kind of a a, a rib through there and as you can see it kind of tones down with that rabbit but it pushes it flat so it's, it definitely still shows up and you can do this with a lot of different colors now I'm going to come in and just give it a light brush So that's, that's the proper amount of bugginess if that fish is going to catch, or if that, that fly is going to catch any fish. Okay, so we're, we're going to put a little soft hackle in it with some partridge. So I've just prepared a feather. I pulled off a pelt, and I'm going to grab it with some hackle pliers and pull it down to find the tie-in point. So I'm going to just tie in that little... Uh, triangle and I'll keep this pretty sparse so really just two turns of partridge if I could get it tied off where I want it. So we'll add a little bit of partridge there and then uh, I'm actually going to make a hot spot but I want to mix two colors together. I'll take some cinnamon and some orange ice dub. Just kind of blend them together. I like the, the cinnamon because it has a little bit of a lavender flash in it. In fact, it might might not be a bad idea to take two full bags and mix them together and then just add a little bit of that to the front of your partridge. So 
just like that and then we'll whip finish. These flies are designed to be tied very quickly. Um, you could take this same fly and you could uh, add CDC for the soft tackle instead of partridge and it would work great. But anyway, as you can see, just kind of a, a representative fly. It probably looks like a bunch of different stuff. Simple to tie and fish like to eat it. Thank you.